Hey, what's going on? I'm Matt Ware, and this is my boy Hamza Abdullah, and we're the Gridiron Griots. Gridiron football, Griot storytellers, you get the picture. Man, we want to welcome you guys back over here for season two, and we've been in the lab with a pen and a pad trying to, you know, get that damn label off. Oh, we got, oh, we got some stuff in there, bro. Oh, oh it's cooking right now, We Yeah. Oh, you think they ready? I don't know, man. I mean... Eight years of experience, bro. Eight years we put into this. You know what I'm saying? These all career teams yeah. trying to trying to figure out who are the top guys when we played in our era. Yeah, because they got they got the Hall of Fame voting. They getting it all the way wrong. So we about to set them straight right now. So first off, if you haven't done already, like, share, subscribe, and start commenting right now. Start commenting who you think were the best players in the NFL from 2004 to 2011. Matt's first year was 2004. My first year was 2005. So we came together and said, hey, Weez, Hums, who's the best players? Who are the best players that played during your era? So shoot, we said, well, let's do all-career offense, all-career defense, and of course, all-career special teams because that's where we made our money. Absolutely. And I know you guys have already liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. Go ahead and follow us on all of our socials at Gridiron Grills because it's about to get real nasty and real ugly right now. These are the guys who don't get no love. But we about to give them some love right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got to start out with my, I got to go back to the alma mater one, okay, one more okay. time. You know yes, sir. I'm going to dip in. Mm. This man gave up two sacks in college, bro. At offensive line? At offensive tackle. Oh, the premier position. I'm talking about playing against Willie McGinnis. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Playing against dogs. 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 Two sacks, bro. Two sacks? Jonathan Ogden. The big O? Big O. Baltimore, big O. Bro, six foot nine, 344 pounds, ran four eight in the 40. Yeah, this is back in the day too. Ooh. All world shot putter. All world. Oh, he was shot putting them DNs too. Oh, he loved to put hands on DNs. Oh, he leave him right here. Huh. <laughs> and he had cats getting tossed out. <laughs> oh, they was getting tossed, bro. Oh, yes, sir. Don't come up in here with no tennis shoes and white tees on. I told you to take your dilly dally off. Bruh, physical. Big J Big J-O? Big J-O, okay. So you went big man. Okay, you went to big O. I went another big man. Man by the name of Walter Jones. Big Walt is what we called him up in Seattle. Oh. You walk by him, you put your tap, tap, cap down just a little bit. Because he was the biggest man in the world. In the world, Craig. Google, how many sacks did Big Walt give up? Walter Jones. Bro, I met him at the Apple Store in Bellevue up in Seattle. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you know what's up? Man, my name is Hamza Abdullah, man, retired player. Bro, I went to shake his hand. Bro, his hand did like this to mine. <laughs> he wrapped that thing up like a Christmas gift. <laughs> I'm looking at my hand. I'm looking at him. I said, oh. Oh, he stood over me too? Like, yeah. Yeah. I, I love when DBs came. Oh, I love when DBs came to my side. Oh, Christmas came early. Oh, Christmas came early. Oh, because he was taking them and putting them in that straight jacket and then return to sender like a UPS box with no label on it. Oh, oh. that's oh. all bad. Oh, big walk. Okay, so you got the big tackle. You got to have somebody to talk to right next to him. Mm -hmm. Who you got? We're going to go back to the 12 again. Ooh. Because 04, 05, 06. Bro, the Seahawks were the Seahawks were ridiculous. Yes, sir. And it started up front. Oh, and it started with the man in the middle. Ooh. Big Steve Hutchinson. Steve Hutchinson. Michigan's finest. Dang. Four-time first team all pro, six-time pro bowler. Damn. Gold jacket. Gold jacket. Physical. Physical. He was real physical. Then he went to Minnesota. Oh. Oh, and he loved the cold. Oh, he couldn't wait. Oh. He hated playing at home. Oh. He no. only wanted to go to oh, Green I Bay. Go outside. Oh, all your D tackles. No, don't do no blitzes on my side. Bruh, he was putting hands on 330 pounders. 
Like they were like they were children. They were children compared to him. Okay. So you and Big Steve, I'ma go to the strongest man to ever play in the NFL. I'll repeat that again. Rewind. The strongest man to ever play in the NFL. Period. There can only be one. Oh, it's one. What's his first name? <laughs> Big Larry. Larry Allen. Squatting all of a thousand pounds. A thousand pounds, bro? A thousand. He was in the real life strongest man competition. Oh. Oh, and when he got his hands on you, bro, my rookie year or was it 06. We're playing San Francisco 49ers. It's the only time in my life I did the splits. Bro, I can't, I'm telling you right now, I cannot do the splits. But I, Frank Gore got the handoff, was coming around the corner. I was like, ooh, I'm about to feed you, Frank. Oh, oh, a big old shadow came around that corner. It was Larry Allen. Bro, I turned into James Brown and hit the splits. <laughs> bro, I was all the way down here with it. Bro, you're not touching me. Bro, this, like this, like real splits, like legs down here, James Brown at Madison Square Garden, bro. Popped up, dove on Frank like this. He was like, little motherfucker, how you do that? I said, I don't know, but you're not touching me. You are not touching me? No, you're not touching me today. I got kids. Bro. You got your story about Larry Allen? Bro, let me tell you something right now. It was my second year in the league. Oh. We're in Dallas, bro. We're in Dallas. I'm playing dime linebacker next to Jeremiah Trotter. Ooh. They call double A gap blitz. No. Double A gap blitz. Quarterback, Tony Romo. <gasps> so you show. Oh, oh, no, you show. <laughs> Went and showed that. Oh, A -gap. no. No. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Bro, Big Larry never had his mouthpiece in. I don't know. I don't even know how I had any teeth. Don't need a mouthpiece for you. He said, "Come on, motherfucker, come run your ass up in here." I said, "Oh no, 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 no!" Oh, he whispered that to you. Oh, oh there no, was, there, there was no whispering. Oh no, he wanted everybody like, to hear it. Bro, Jeremiah Trotter's right there. No, Why don't you block him. No, bro. <laughs> Oh, I had to. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, you. I wasn't trying to get sent home. No. No. Oh, but he was trying to send me to the hospital. Please. No. That's like me and old SWAT team. You kicking in the door with no good. <laughs> <laughs> you and SWAT team with no good. <laughs> oh, they sent you in there. <laughs> I had no rubber bullets, nothing, uh, bro. Oh, no flash bang grenade or nothing. Bro, I was in there with a headband. Oh. And some tube socks. Oh. Bro, it was all bad. Oh. Bro, he six inch punched me, bro. Mm. From here to here. And I thought all this was gone. Oh, it was gone. Oh, it went to meet your maker. Oh. oh. Bro, I literally had a bruised chest. Oh. This, this man hit me. Yo. Yeah, yeah. You gonna feel I that. never felt anything like that in my life. No, bro. bro. He was strong, strong. And that's that's why I knew that all them all them Pro Bowl challenges when he was on there hitting that hitting that bench press yeah. 45, 50 times, yeah. 225. Oh, it's real. Yeah, it's it was really real, bro. Bro, he just stopped just because he wanted to stop. Like, hey man, I'm tired of counting, bro. Cause he was not there was more in the tank. Ooh. Oh yeah, Larry Allen. Oh, kudos to you, Larry Allen. Okay, now you got to go with the center position. Who you got, Weez? The dog of all dogs. There's not one D tackle that I talked to that ever said that they were looking forward to playing this dude. Ooh. Hey, Monsters of the Midway. Yeah. 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 We're going to go out to Chicago. This man's name is Olin Cruz, Hawaii's finest. Ooh. You dub. Hey. Animal, bro. Oh, oh, he was giving it to us in college. Then he went to the Monsters of the Midway, and he was dogpiling the NFC North. Bro, I literally, cats, cats hated playing against this dude, bro. Yeah, you talk to any D tackle. Hey, man, what center did you hate playing? His name is number one or number two. And the other one or two, Kevin Mawai. 
Oh, Kevin Y showed up with a suit on as the president of the NFLPA. D Lyman hit me like this. Don't believe that shit. That's the nastiest nigga. <laughs> I was like, what? Bro, he's nasty. I said, what you mean by that? Oh, bro. Oh, he trying to take you out back. Oh, he trying to put the plunger in your behind. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, he gonna interrogate oh, you. Oh, he had you rooted, pooty. <laughs> oh, he had you holding your pocket, holding his pocket, and washing his drawers. I said he was like that. He said, "Bro, Kevin Mawai, the best center." He's like, "Bro, Kevin Mawai blocking you, bro. It's a wrap." Kevin Mawai, bro. He wasn't even that big. What you mean? Man, listen. Well, he had a chip on his shoulder. Dog. Oh, he was a dog. Dog. Okay. So we got our centers. I'm, nah. Okay, I'm gonna slide right next to the man. Yeah. One more time. Okay. Hey, Pittsburgh Steelers. Yep. New York Jets. Ooh. Arizona Cardinals. Ooh. Long hair. Crossbow, crossbow uh, mustache. Alan Fanica. Alan Fanica, bro. Oh, he looked like he was in a biker game. Hey, four time first team all pro. Dang. Six time pro bowler, bro. Hey, you ask the, ask the bus who we love to run, B.I. 6'6". Six, six. Yeah. Oh, Route 66. Route 66, bro. Alan Fanica, he can get out there on screens. Oh. Oh, he was so athletic. So athletic, bro. Oh. There, there, was, there was not a whole lot like him, bro. No, but there's no. a reason why he has a jacket. Yeah. He was not going to be on my yeah, team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang. Okay, so you got Fanica. Again, I'm going to be honest, bro. Offensive line, I really just wanted to go the whole Kansas City offensive line, bro. Bro, they had Casey Wigman as a center. They had Willie Rofe. They had this man right here, Brian Waters. Mm, mm, mm. Brian Waters, Kansas City. Bro, it's the reason why Priest Holmes was running for 1,000. 1,500, 1,600, 1,700. Then Grandmama Larry Johnson was running for 1,700. Then after that, along came Polly. Jamal Charles. Bro, that offensive line for Kansas City? All time great. But Brian Waters? Oh, he was real physical. Oh, 6'4. Oh, he was real physical. Was bro, about, he's about 335, 340. 335 with hands like a magician. Now you see him. Now you don't. You just feel him. Oh, bro, he's the first offensive lineman that they would talk about in the DB room. Hey, 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 hey. We're not running Fox Blitz this week. Oh, they were trying to preserve life. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There will be no B-gap blitzes. This, bit, this blitz... It's going on the outside every time. The DN is going to cut in, and you're going to go outside because we need you next week. <laughs> and if you run up on Brian Waters, it's a wrap. We're going to be sending that folded flag to your house because you will not be here. Bro, I think I remember telling you this, bro. That man came off the line of scrimmage. And you know, guys, when someone's trying to block you, you know, they usually get in a nice low stance. You know what I'm saying? Get their hands in nice and tight. You know what I mean? Try to grab you, no. push you here. No. This man came off the ball and threw a, a fade at your boy. <laughs> oh, he wanted, to, he wanted to go from the shoulders. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, I took an angle to the far pylon oh. <laughs> to get around him, bro. <laughs> this man tried to knock my head off with a punch in the middle of a game. Bro, Brian Waters... I know he got a jacket. He better have two jackets because there's nobody blocking like him. Nobody. He, he, was, he, was, he was the cat on life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe I'd eat your cornbread. Oh, he was eating cornbread too. All of it. Okay, so now we got guard. Last man on offense, bro. The bookend, the other offensive tackle. Who you got? Orlando Pace. Ooh. St. Louis Rams, Ohio State. The franchise. The franchise, literally. Literally the franchise. Marshall Falk. Yes. Kurt Warner. Yes. All them cats, 
they could thank that man right there. That's why he got that jacket. Because he was putting hands on people, bro. Orlando Pace? Oh. There was no getting around him. No, 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 no. I don't care who your DN is. Bro, you better go put a practice squad DN up here for this week. <laughs> because there will be no pass rushing on this side. At all. Okay. So for mine, this was tough, bro. Like I said, Willie Rowe from the... I really wanted to put the whole Kansas City Chiefs O-line on here. But Willie Rofe only played the one year my rookie year. So for my offensive lineman, I put up a cat. He was like 400 pounds, converted tight end, undrafted free agent, and he's still playing. A 400-pound converted tight end playing off the one. Hmm. Make it make sense. And was hella athletic, though. Feet. Mr. Feet, Jason Peters. Jason Peters for the Buffalo Bills. A wall. Like, a wall. A wall. I mean, I was struggling. I was like, man, do I go Jason Peters? Uh, do I go Joe Thomas? But Jason Peters, bro, mm -hmm. there will be no sacks. Mm -hmm. You're not going to have a good time, bro. No, You're not going to have a good time. But, yeah, bro, that's the all-career offense, man. Yeah, what I you like think? those. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of people gonna be stopping either one of those. Nah. Two storytellers got together but came lit. Brothers on the grid, I ain't and still haven't changed since. Now it's day time, all the rest go and take six. Relax and unwind, cause it's a lot to just take in. Uh huh. Fourth quarter sidelines to the film room. These are stories that you hear if you stay tuned. They don't let you in the league, you gotta make room. On the grid, I ain't is where your dreams come true.